things if you choose to watch them. Uh, number two, another number two lie or false doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites, Lashon Kadosh or Kadash, however they pronounce it. And what this is is fake Hebrew. Again, I believe it's from Ariah. I don't know if it's a dream or how he came up with it. And I believe both with the 12 tribe charts and Lashon Kadash, there's evidence that he later recanted, admitted that it's all false and it's just used to draw people in and sucker them in. Because um, these people aren't about empowering black people or waking up true Israel. They're, they're about making money and, and having control over people. Uh, just like many Christian pastors just fleece the flock. So, uh, Lashon Kadash. So you get words like instead of Yahweh, the Father's name, Yahuwah. Instead of Yeshua for Jesus, it's Yahusha. You also have Yahawashai and Shalom. Um, I don't even know if that's part of Lashon Kadash or that's just some other fake Hebrew that's been made up. But there's nothing, nothing to back any of this. Nothing in history, nothing in, in archaeology, nothing written. This is all made up stuff from a, a few sources and been propagated. No scholar who speaks Hebrew understands any of this stuff or, you know, there's nothing to back it. And as far as the name of the Messiah, we know it's Yeshua. The Father's name, Yahweh, because of the no vowels being written, there, there is argument whether it's Yahweh or uh, some would say Yahweh. Even Yahuwah, I would give some wiggle room to, um, or Yehovah. There's arguments there, but Yeshua, there's no doubt, because we have the Septuagint, which was the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the Tanakh, about 300 B.C., and it has the name of Joshua, Yehoshua, which is the same as the name Christ had. And in the Aramaic or the shortened form, it's Yeshua. Because in the Greek, it's Jesus. Because Greek people, in their language, they didn't have equivalents for the sh sound. So they couldn't pronounce Yeshua. The closest they'd come is Jesus. And because it's Greek, it's a male name. The S is added to the end. Anyway, there's all kinds of studies you can find on this to back this up. So there's no earth pig or hail Zeus, all these crap doctrines that come around trying to deny the true name Yeshua. It's Yeshua. Every Hebrew scholar agrees with it. And that's all I'll say about that.